questions or do kind of just do I just say them? You say the questions? No, are you gonna ask me the questions? <laughs> <I'm fucking laughs> well, well you I said it, dude. I was just going over your pipe. You have to do your job too. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Alrighty, everyone. Welcome back to Automotive Anatomy. Today we have Adam. Adam, thank you so much, man. Thank you for making some time for us, man. Uh, so tell us, man, what do you drive? Uh, so this is my 1995 Honda Accord Coupe. Um, picked it up five years ago. Five years ago, wow. Five years ago. Where'd and you pick it up from? I actually picked it up from this old man. Mm -hmm. He had a, uh, a little bit beat up, all stock though, which I was looking for. And basically I just messed it up. You just messed it up. <laughs> now you've had Accords before this, or why is this specific chassis? Um, I had about three, four Accords before, mm -hmm. which that's when I started modifying. It was my first cars, and that's when I started getting modifying the car little by little, learning as as I go. Okay. Um, throughout the other Accords I had, I would buy like eBay bootleg parts and just um, just modifying like every right GDM at the beginning. F boy would do, would do. <laughs> um, so I kind of met up with a group of friends, met up with uh, my Gus from Fontana, Miguel from Orange County, um, and uh, uh, the Cam family, and basically taught you the ways. Taught me the ways. I was growing up, my um, my dad would always uh, work as a mechanic, work on his own cars, and I would be there next to him. And basically, I think that's how it. Mostly, everyone starts, you know, just by someone teaching somebody else and you're getting attached to that and, and building on from there and learning as you go. Definitely. Okay. That's cool, man. All righty. So let's get in it. Um, tell us at the front end, what do we have going on? Okay. Uh, the front end, I try to get as much just parts as possible, but we have the just regular Japanese, all clear headlights, chrome headlights. Okay. As you can tell, they don't have the little dimples on them as the USDM ones. Okay. Uh, retrofitted with uh, Mirimoto's D2s, I believe. I got these um, from uh, another Accord guy. Um, SIR uh, bumper lights, as you can tell. Uh, it's a replica um, JTC Mugen uh, lip that has on. Wait, didn't you just say you were going to buy replica parts? This yes, is, but... I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, okay. Um, and then I have uh, fog lights, which were US, USDM optional also, a Mugen grill. All righty. So tell us about the wheel and tire setup. So the wheels I got, Federal RSRs are ours, uh, 235-45s on a 17 by 8 5 Ziggin FN01RC. Um, that was a mouthful. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that was without notes, everyone. <laughs> wow. Okay. Yeah. Now you did the 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 paint yourself, right, on the wheels? I actually, yeah. I, I went to. I actually got them powder coated. Oh, okay, okay, so, okay. Um, with that mag uh, blue, mag blue, mag okay. blue. And then uh, tell us the brake. I know the two piece rotor setup lines. What do you have going on? So the brake setup, I actually picked it up from another cord guy. Um, they're Willwood uh, six piston brakes with uh, I think it's believe 12.2 inch rotors mm -hmm. um, with SS uh, steel braided uh, brake lines. Okay. Now, why did you decide? Did you decide to do this before you wanted to go a five lug, or what was the thought process between the Willwood or actually doing a five lug and then having more options for upgrading uh, big brakes? Well, the thing is that since they went up for sale and I saw them and they were unique and I never seen an accord with the Wilwood setup, it was kind of one of those things that I had to go pick up, mm -hmm. you know, and unfortunately, um, it was since it was made for an accord, it, it retained the four by one fourteen lug pattern setup. Okay. Unfortunately, unfortunately for those who actually want to maintain yeah. a four lug. Yeah. Okay. Sweet, man. Um, tell us about the side skirts. So the side skirts. Um, I always I always like the PCI side skirts, how they looked. So uh, what I end up doing is uh, um, just researching. I was thinking of uh, making my own, but so actually some guy in Florida named Alex uh, Sergeant One met him through Facebook. Uh, he actually came up and made the side skirts for his car. So I hit him up. We had a conversation, and he ended up shipping me, well, selling me and shipping me the side skirts you see here. 
Okay. And so I think he got the inspiration from the PCI, right? Yeah, the PCI side screws. All right, okay. That's, that's nice, man. As you can see, I have the Honda of America badges um, that were only in uh, Japan. So since the, the coupe and the wagon were made in the U.S. and in, in, in imported or exported? Exported yeah, that's funny, Japan. right? Exported to Japan. We never say that. <laughs> okay. So it was exported to Japan. Uh, they uh, they added little badges right there. Uh, they also added little things around the car that pretty much said that, like, this car was made here in the U.S. but exported to Japan. Uh, the back, nothing much. Really simple. Just I have a authentic Nubian wing. Um, also, I have the Accord Coupe SR badges. And just, uh, as you can tell, the rear fog. This is the rear fog. And that's it. No, that's nothing, nothing too crazy. Just, just keep it simple though, right? It simple, yeah, yeah. Well, less is more nowadays, I think. Yeah, that's, that's something I always, I always uh, tend to uh, follow. Less is more. Less is more. Good. I think because you went through those faces already, right? Yeah. You mentioned. Yeah, I mean, you go with all those sticker bombing, fake lips, uh, cr the girls, Fend side, uh, what do you call it? Fenders or uh -huh. what do you call those? Never put, gra never put grass on your fender. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh -huh. I mean, every everyone <clears throat> wants to seems like they want to add a lot to your car, and it makes it it just takes away from the look, I guess. You you go overboard. You yeah. go overboard, and, and it just starts looking ugly. Right, 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 right. Cool. Tell us about the exhaust system that you have going on. Uh, the exhaust system is just a uh, two and a half inch all the way. Um, it has a, a K-Tune uh, high flow cat and um, it has two resonators and a vibrant exhaust. That's it. That's very nice. I had to add the cat on there because I couldn't take the, the smell of the exhaust anymore. Yeah. It was, Feeling it was, drowsy and driving. Yeah, it, was, uh, <laughs> I, it actually made me put it on after um, I went to Washington. So I got the swap <laughs> done and I took it up to Washington. No cat, no resonator. It's just loud all the way. And <laughs> the noise with the exhaust fumes. It was just sure, it's a good idea. Let's go. Yeah. yeah. 20 plus hour drive. Let's just, yeah, why not? So I believe those are from the older generation Accord, but I mean, they flow nicely with this one. So I decided just to move on. Uh, S2000 steering wheel. And it's a direct bolt on? It, it is a direct bolt on. Um, I heard that the airbag and the horn is also a direct bolt on, but um, for some reason, I just can't figure it out. So I just. My airbag's not connected or my horn, so. <laughs> All right. It's going to be a J, I think it's a JC, JTC uh, short shifter, mm -hmm. ASR dog bone uh, extender, and uh, circuit hero shift knob. Okay. And then you have uh, the wood grain. Uh, yeah, center. just the wood grain that came on the, I believe it was the special edition. Special edition. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. I did that. And other than that, that's it. Just that's it. Browood mirror. That cord, actually OEM, uh, beat it up floor mats, <laughs> floor mats, but they're there, there. Uh, what are the future plans for the interior? Uh, the interior, not really much. Uh, I do want to get some, some borrow seats, some bucket seats. Um, but other than that, if it gets to where I want it to, I would gut the interior. Oh, shit. I would gut the complete interior, but it doesn't seem like it's going to be there anytime soon. All right, Adam. So tell us, what do you got going on in the engine compartment? So I have a H22 swap, A22A from a Euro R Accord. Okay. Um, high end headers, just matching Euro R intake. But um, I have RDX injectors in the back right here. Mm -hmm. uh, BDL throttle body, engine intake. Basically, that's it. Not, nothing too crazy. I, uh, from what I know, I, I believe my, my but I got picked up this motor from my buddy. He actually got out of the Accord game, mm -hmm. so he um, he offered me the motor with the trans, everything basically. Um, offered offered to me. I I took up took him up on that offer, and his, his motor still lives on. You know. And the so, tranny uh, is H tranny. It's an H twenty two tranny. Okay. It's a TW or T two W four, which is the matching Euro R tranny, which is one of the 
one of the trannies that have the lower gears. Mm -hmm. So it has high rev and it sucks driving on the freeway because I'm at right. I'm at eighty thought am I like four thousand RPM <laughs> uh, going eighty or stuff like that and it's just it just screams. So it sucks. <laughs> All right, and then I see you have a couple of the pieces from FFC. So tell us, what's FFC? What do they do? FFC, uh, they're uh, it's Fat Four Custom. Basically, they they create accord parts for um, for the accord because not a lot of companies create are focused on on this chassis or just the cord in general. So Alan and Jason, which are the main owners of FFC, um, they went ahead and started creating parts for. The, the Accord chassis, which nobody else wanted to create. Specifically the 94 to 97. 94, 97, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, and so some of the pieces that I see are the battery hold down with the little engraved FFC, the radiator, um, FFC, and then the, the short bar, which is a very nice piece. The way they they uh, utilize the firewall with the struts, usually most, you know, obviously it's just from one strut to the other, but they actually did a little nice design over there. Um, now we can't see it, but do you have the rear one as well? No, I don't. So he doesn't support the companies. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, I do have the top hats, the FFC top hats. This is the second generation, the, but um, they didn't come with engravements on there, so, um, unfortunately. Okay. Um, I also have uh, one of the plugs over there. Steely all the plugs, huh? Keep it a little more cleaner. Nice. All right. So what are the future plans for this? Uh, for the motor, that's basically it. Mm -hmm. um, I don't plan on touching it any more than what it is. It's already making good enough horsepower. Uh, last time I took it to the dyno, I made about 219, 218 and some change. So That's uh, enough for you. Yeah, basically for enough uh, for a daily driver and, you know, fun here and there. fun, yeah. So that's basically it. Nothing. Don't want to change it up too much. So I want to give a huge shout out to Daniel from uh, WordRex, actually right here. He's the one that actually put everything together for me, um, put in the motor, the transmission, and did the, everything basically the complete work for me. Mm -hmm. um, I have no time to do it myself, or else I, I would try to. But even if I tried to, I wouldn't get a clean, uh, a clean as work as as he did with, with my motor here. But. Um, and I guess that answered your question as if I put it together myself. But no, I didn't. <laughs> okay. Nice. Well, yeah, he's a he's a core specialist. So yeah, I think you did a yeah you did you did a video on him, huh? Yeah. So the purple he, accord. Yeah, he actually changed my purple uh, accord. <laughs> purple accord. <laughs> the blue accord. I mean, <laughs> the valley blue. <laughs> yeah, he's a good friend of you, right? Yeah, he's <laughs> a really good friend. Doesn't even know what what <laughs> color code is his car. What are the future plans for this coupe? or any other project that you may have in your mind and uh, any shout outs. Uh, future plans for the coupe would be, probably, I, if I would keep it, I would want to get another, a paint job on it, make it look a little better than how it is now. Mm -hmm. uh, but other than that, nothing really much. Hopefully track the car since that's what I, I've been building up to do. Mm -hmm. But I've just been too scared to do it. <laughs> I don't want to break it. Right. Um, and basically that's it. That's, that's, that's what I have on, on plans for this one. Um, a shout out, I want to give a shout out to Miguel that's in, actually in Mexico getting his dental degree. He got deported. He got, oh, sorry, my bad. <laughs> he, he got deported, but we're saying he, he went yeah. to school. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, he did not get deported. <laughs> so, uh -huh. uh, um, and Gus Campos from Fontana, Carwin from Chino, uh, Chris from, I think he's uh, from city or somewhere out there alrighty man well thank you so much for making the time for us man I, I, tr I truly appreciate it man um, I know you talked about some other plans with another kind of accord um, I hope you don't let go of this one but um, the, the next project will be even better so um, thank you man I appreciate it well thank you for coming down is that how you clean it <laughs> big boy nurses part two <laughs>